Hello everyone, I'm Srian Chakraborty and today I'm going to show you how to make a very cheap low price flex sensor with some waste actually I'm going to use a Marinda can for this project you can use some other soft drink can and you are going to need some additional things like a microcontroller in the, my case I'm going to use Arduino Uno it's a popular microcontroller development board and some 10 kilo ohm resistor resistance I'm going to use two resistors some scissors tape scratching paper breadboard some bigger wire and some jumper cable so let's do this in this part I'm going to cut the upper part of the can and the lower part of the can then it will look like something like this uh, this is not the Merinda can it's a coca-cola can but I have done this previously so uh, in pictures you can see how I do it with other can The next step will be cut the sheet, aluminium sheet, it's an aluminium sheet and cut the sheet into smaller pieces. So let's cut it. I need two pieces for each sensor. Parts properly. Uh -oh. So I'm done actually I have got the two parts my task is done I will move on to the next part in this part we have two slices of aluminium sheet and now we are going to scratch the lower part of this one and lower part of this one so it means I have to scratch here and here so let's do it I'm going to use the scratching paper for this I'm just using the smaller part now you can see the real aluminium is visible and the coating color coating is different there is a difference between this part and this part so same task should be done with this one so let's do it in this part i'm going to use a larger cable bigger cable actually and the tape in my case it's a micro port it, you can find it in local store most probably i got it from medical store so in the next level just cut the part of the wire and okay you can see the copper wires so next step next step is to put the copper wires like that over here spread the copper wires like that and then cut a smaller piece of a tip and just stick it same for the next one so oh. so task is done separately but now I have to put those two parts like that it should be like that so what will happen when we bend this one it will make changes in the capacitance between them so it will be the 
change of the capacitance will be sensed by our microcontroller or you can use a op amp or whatever you want when these two parts bend together and it will change the capacitance between them so it will be sensed so let's check it uh, before checking i have to put some i have to bind them using my tape so you can see it's done so first of all i'm going to change the lower part of this sensor well, i'm going to see the capacitance activity of the sensor is correct or not for this i'm going to use a multimeter next step i'm going to show you the multimeter activity with this sensor in this part i'm going to show you the capacitive activity of my sensor which will be tracked down by my multimeter my multimeter is very much old and low quality but it's it sends the capacitance activity of my sensor so for this i have added some strong cables with the lower part of the sensors i'm going to put the two portion of this wire in the capacitance checking portion of the multimeter so for this just put so let's start the multimeter so it's kind of stabilizing the current value of the, ca the current capacitance value of my sensor is 0.2 microfarad actually it's fluctuating between 0.1 and 0.2 sometimes oh, and my multimeter is set to maximum 200 microfarad reading so this currently this my currently this multimeter will able to read maximum 200 microfarad capacitor value so if i bend this sensor then it goes up and my multimeter unable to read the sensed value because it's more than 200 microfarad so let's put it once again in a straight form so it's come down to 0.2 microfarad once again it's over 200 and once again it's come down to 0.2 microfarad so it's done that we have built our sensor successfully so let's go to the next step and in which step I'm going to show you some Arduino code and I'm going to interface the sensor with Arduino and I'm going to tell you how to read the sensed value and how you can use the sensed value in your I have completed my circuit here is my next sensor is connected with the circuit board and here is my Arduino I have already so here you can see the circuit diagram it's a very simple and basic circuit diagram you could ever seen i have already write the arduino code over here upload the code oh no cancel it it will be uploaded automatically it's uploaded let's run the serial monitor and don't worry about the code i will put the code inside the video and you will find the code source inside the description so don't worry about the code and the circuit diagram so go to tools and start serial monitor so initially it is blank and now bend the flex sensor so it's started reading detecting bend and once again it stopped the detection is stopped once again it's bend it's counter is incrementing that it's sensing some value from the sensor and you can see that 
and our TX pin is blinking like a crazy one and our serial monitor is doing some crazy works and when I leave that one it's stuck it's stuck into 1089 maybe and our Arduino TX is not light up so our sensor is working fine if you like that video please subscribe this channel and share the video wherever you want put a like put any comments if you want to share with me or you have a suggestion for me please write a comment inside the comment bar thank you